In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Genesis template for Divi. Let me show you how. So when you download the uh, template, this is the file you get. This is a zipped file. So I'm just going to double click on it and this will open. And in this folder, you have two files. So there's a dark theme and also the light theme. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the dark theme. So before I, I can show you that, I just want to show you a few pages here uh, that you get when you use Divi. So as you can see here, if we try to search something on the website, this is the results page. And then over here, this is also the page that you get uh, by default. So as you can see, this is not very exciting. And on the bottom here, the footer here does not look very nice. And uh, on the top here, I mean, it's not really customized. So this is what this template is going to fix for you. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here and it's time now to install the template. So I'm gonna come to the bottom here where it says Divi, click on a theme builder. So all we have to do now is to come over here to the top right, click on portability, and then this is where you want to import the file. So I'm gonna click here on the import tab, and then you want to click here where it says choose file. So the uh, default actions here are override the default template and allow the input to override existing assignments. So basically what we need to do now is decide, of course, which template you want to use, the dark or the light theme. So in this example, we're going to use the dark theme. So I'm gonna drag this file, which is on my desktop, onto here. And then all I have to do is to click import DV theme builder templates. Go ahead and do that. And in a moment, this has now been installed and you can see here, it has populated our DV theme builder. So all we have to do now is to click on save. Now at this stage, all our changes have been applied. And now if I come over here to this 404 page and refresh, you will notice that you're going to have a brand new 404 page. As you can see here, this has now become our error page. So we can click here. And by the way, you don't even need to go and customize this button. It will always go to your home button. So I'm going to click here. And now this is going to take us home. So as you can see now, we have a footer here, but a few things are missing. We don't have the logo here, and we also don't have the logo here on the top. So when you use a dark theme, this is where you need to use a light logo or a white logo. So this is what we're going to do now. This is the second step. So if I come back over here to the builder, all I have to do now is to click on theme options. I'm gonna select theme options. And then over here where it says logo, this is where I can upload my logo if you haven't done it already. And this time we have a dark theme, so let's choose a, a light logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my logo here, set as logo, and then I'm just gonna save changes. Great. So now let's take a look at our website. So as you can see here, my logo is in place and everything looks great. On the top here, we also have our links. So far, I only have two links, but if I start adding new, new ones, they are going to be added here. So let me show you quickly how that works. So if I come back over here to my dashboard, I wanna add one more page and I'm just gonna click on add new. And let's call this page services. I'm just gonna publish it. Publish it one more time. Okay, so now that our page has been published, we need to come here where it says appearance, click on menus, and we just need to add this page that we've just created over to our menu. So I've selected it, click on add to menu, and you can see here our page has been added. So now you can drag it and place it in position. I'm gonna save changes. And then now if I come back over here and refresh the page, you notice now that we have services on our menu. Great, so now let me just quickly go into this page and just add some content here. So I'm gonna click here on Enable Visual Builder. And then I'm gonna choose a pre-made layout because we don't wanna spend a lot of time creating our design from scratch. So over here now, I can just choose one of these layouts. So I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna select the landing page, click on Import Layout. So this is just to give you an idea of how everything looks once the template has been added on. So again, it's gonna take a bit of time. There we go. All right, so our layout now has been added. I'm just gonna save this. Now there's one more thing that you need to do. If I scroll all the way down here, you notice that it says just a WordPress website. This is where you need to add a description of your website. And let me show you quickly where you need to do that. So I'm gonna come back over here, click on settings. I'm gonna to go to general. 
And then here is the text which says just another WordPress website. So I'm just gonna call this just, this is Genesis. Okay, so once you add your tagline for your website, it will update automatically on your template. So now I'm just gonna save this. And then now back on my website here, I'm gonna refresh. In fact, let me just exit out of this. Okay, so now if I scroll all the way down here to my footer, you notice that this is Genesis, just another WordPress website. So it's dynamically updated. And I also need to mention that if you want to make some customizations to this, it's very, very straightforward. So now I'm gonna show you how to customize this. Now, as you know, this is just a base template. This is a great starting point for your design. So if you wanna customize any of these links or any of these designs, let me show you quickly how to do it. All you have to do is to come back over here to Divi Theme Builder. So this is the file that you need to work with. So here is the header. So if you go on to header here, once the builder has been loaded, all you have to do is to click on this gear icon. And now you can go in and perhaps change this background color if you wanted to. So let's say you want to change it to that. You can see here that it is you know, changing. And once you change it here, what will happen is when you take a look at your website, everything will be updated. So let me save this and show you in real time how this has been changed. So now I'm just going to close this, save and exit. And then I'm going to save all changes. And now if I go to this page and refresh this, you'll notice that our header will be updated. So there we go, our header now has been updated and this will be updated throughout the whole website. So this is the advantages of actually making changes here. Now the same thing can be done as well on the footer. So let's say you want to work on the footer, you can just click on this icon here. And then if you click here on your section settings, this will allow you to change the background color here, like what we did with the header. And let's say you want to change the links here, you can always click here on this gear icon on module settings, and then you can just, you know, click these links here, change them to whatever you want, and also you can also change where you want to link them to. So this is very straightforward. If you want again to change the colors, you can always come over here and you can just change your colors that way. So if you come over here, you can just change the colors like that. And as you can see, they are now updated. All the changes you're going to be making here will affect the whole website. So this is why it is important to use this template as your starting point. All right, so now that we know how to edit this, let's take a look at the whole template now on our website. Okay, so I am going to just close out of this and I will not save any changes here. And as I mentioned before, if you wanna change any of this, the search results page or the uh, custom body, all you need to do is to click on this pencil icon and you can make your changes in there. If you, have any, any, if you have any confusions, just let me know and I will go through this with you step by step to make sure you have the right settings you want. All right, so now that we have all this, uh, what you need to do now is if I refresh this, right, this results page, you will notice that this is now looking way much better. So you can see here, this is my result and this page has been totally customized to look really, really nice. This is what makes your websites professional. Now, the final thing is while you're working on your template, you'll notice that it looks like it's cut off at the top. This is because you need to log out of this website in order for you to see everything clearly. So if I just click here on log out and then go back to the site like that, now you can see our full header is now working. And if I scroll, you can see it shrinks into position. And then I can just, you know, use my site. And if I scroll back up, you can see it expands as well. And all the way down here to the bottom, this is my footer. And all the changes that I do here will be will affect the whole website. So this is how you use the Genesis template. As I mentioned before, if you have any problems or trying to uh, use this template, please let me know and I'll help you work out those issues. Thank you very much. See you soon.